Welcome to Nintendo K Channel. I am Danny. Evelyn. And uh, I want to thank you guys for joining with us on this Nintendo K Direct Talk. This is our second episode. We had a great feedback on the last one talking about the Nintendo Switch. It's history for us and uh, what our memories for it because it's been a good long many years now. That's right. Thank you so much for sharing all the comments. We've read all of them mm -hmm. and then it just uh, brings us smile to read your memories as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as we we're going through all the comments and questions, we take it to heart. I will definitely answer them, but today, not yet. I'll hold on to that, but I definitely haven't forgotten. So check on the upcoming Nintendo K Direct Talk, and I will definitely answer those uh, online. But today, we're going to be celebrating Mario, one of my favorite franchises, especially as well, Evelyn. Uh, we have long history with it. I think that it's a, we were talking about Nintendo Switch last time. There was tons of games on it, and I did specifically mention Mario games, lots of Mario games. Lot. Yeah. Uh, it's unbelievable. If you probably see right here in the shelf, yeah. it's some. I was like, what happened to you, Danny? What happened to the empty shelf? Gaps there? There. Yeah. Those are the Mario games that I have to pull it out from the from his collection, and I can't believe there's so many. Yeah, there's so many. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so the cool thing about Nintendo Switch is, um, like I did say, it's, it's a lot of Mario games, and uh, today we're going to specifically talk about the physical games that are released. On Nintendo Switch. I know that there are tons of Mario games that are also on uh, the Nintendo Switch online service that you guys get to play. Definitely um, it's, a, it's a nice way to just go in and play it but uh, since I am a collector obviously I have a game room um, I'll be focusing on physical games so if I didn't mention too much about the ones that are on uh, only digital meaning like uh, you have to download the game then uh, you know that's because I'm doing physical today, right? Yes, I'm really happy that also that you get to play um, the retro games, uh, right, on the go. Because yeah, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Not only the modern people get to like uh, younger, the youngest get to play the modern one, but I notice a lot of parents, grandparents, you name it, adults, mm -hmm. they like. They remember say, oh, that's the game I grew up playing. And then they actually get to buy a Switch to yeah. just play the retro game. We're talking about NES, Super Nintendo, uh, mm -hmm. GameCube, and it's just uh, awesome. And we grew up playing a lot of the Mario games too. Wow. wow. Thinking like, back, wow. I, it just hawks back so many uh, fond memories um, of my parents watching me play or play with me actually. But uh, talking about some of the games that were uh, available uh, on the Nintendo Switch uh, Online, it's like uh, Super Mario Brothers, all the classics like Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, there's Super Mario Brothers 3, World, Super Mario 64. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. But um, what is it? Super you Mario can't... 35? Oh, Remember that? that? Yes, Remember that was that? a fun one that they yeah. actually came up with to celebrate Mario. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Yeah, there's tons of yeah, them. There's, there's, there's a lot. I'm not, in, I'm not naming <laughs> everything, it's on top of my head. But at the same time, but uh, we're going to be again focusing on physical today. Yes, today's no question. Yes. We are going to be sharing, I would say, our memories or, or probably like what's the first thing that comes up to your mind when you see this game? Yes. All right. right. So yeah. um, I pull out. Oh, you pulled out? Okay. All a right. bunch of games. All right. So let's get started. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. So uh, Evelyn does, does the honors. All right. So this is not like a Super Mario game, but Mars is in there. Hmm. Oh yeah, so uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I love the Smash series, uh, played since the Nintendo 64. And uh, one of the first characters I play is uh, Mario, of course. Uh, <laughs> I'm not very g good at it, uh, with Mario specifically, but uh, you can't appreciate, you could appreciate it has Mario in it, right? Right. For me, um, I never grew up playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, mm -hmm. but uh, one of the memories that I remember is just that Nintendo invited us to the media event uh, at E3 mm. and we were able to watch the tournament. I remember that. I forgot the year, but it was the year that it was... Oh wait, 2018, right? Yes, I think it was. 2018, yes. Oh yes, it's, it's just like... It's been that long ago. <laughs> but yes, a lot of great memories seeing the players and everyone was so excited for yeah. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right? But honorable mention. Um, it has Mario in it, but uh, it's not a specific Mario game, but... Uh, but Mario's in there, right? Yeah, Mario's in there. The mascot has to be in the <laughs> Smash game, right? Right, he's right there. Yes. Uh, Alright, I'll go to the next one. Uh -huh. The next one is... <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3. I love this game. Um, obviously, Luigi has to go out and save uh, Mario and gang. He's, this time, he's the one who needs help, not Luigi. Luigi is the, the hero of uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. And it's good to see that he's represented in some way. 
You can't have Mario without Luigi in some sort, right? They have to be together, right? Be um, I love how the oh my goodness, the way they express and everything, the animation is yeah. so cute and adorable. It's funny. Uh, one of the things that comes up to my mind, we just mentioned three. It's another event that Nintendo flew us to, uh, to kind of be. Be in the game. In the, the atmosphere yes. that I mentioned, that we did mention on the uh, last yes. episode of Nintendo K Direct Talk. But what I, again, like Evelyn mentioned, a couple of things is like the animation is really nice. It's actually one of the prettiest Nintendo Switch games that I think, uh, even to this day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, the best part is when Luigi's falls asleep when he's reading a book. Absolutely, that's, uh, <laughs> that's just like me. Just exactly like Danny. Uh -huh. All right, so now we're gonna go into really uh, the, the Mario Mario. The Mario games. Mario, the one that yes. has a title with the Mario name in yes. there. Um, you remember this, Danny? Oh yes, I remember those. This one has uh, good memories because uh, I went to Nintendo New York store both times for Mario Rabbit's, uh, what? what is this here? Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and then the, the most recent release is Mario Rabbit's uh, Sparks of Hope. Uh, especially if you guys uh, like Mario and like some, some strategy going on there, you mix them together, and Rabbit's of course, this is your type of game. Um, I remember uh, meeting uh, Davide Soldani and Grant Kirkhope. If you don't know who they are, Dav Davide is the one who's the main man for uh, these games, and mm -hmm. uh, Grant Kirkhope, he's legendary, he's a composer, he done music for um, Banjo Kazooie, GoldenEye 007, uh, all the rare, like a lot of the rare stuff from the N64 era. Hey, let's sing it, Annie. DK. Uh, yeah, yeah, the DK uh, rap. Yeah, that's him. That's all him. Uh, yeah, so I did uh, kind of got into playing games yes. like uh, this one, and then I found it hilarious too. A lot of the. I, <laughs> like it's cute. It's quirky. It's, but it's, it's cute. Yeah, it's. It makes you laugh. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you know, but you know what to deal with when it comes to this uh, series. Right. Right. All right. Moving on mm -hmm. to the next one is um, oh. Paper Mario Origami King. Yes. Yeah, so. I thought it was really novel that they uh, took the concept of Paper Mario because it's paper, right? right. So they fold it into an origami. Mm -hmm. It's a paper craft. It's a Japanese uh, paper craft, uh, traditional craft. And uh, I know Evelyn played this one um, quite a bit when it yes. was uh, first released. I thought that it was charming. It was Evelyn's kind of first foray into the Paper Mario mm -hmm. franchise. It may not be like an RPG like the older ones, but uh, I think that it, it kind of suits to gamers like Evelyn where she's uh, introduced to this uh, sort of franchise uh, and enjoyed it. Yes, I did have a lot of fun playing it. And mm -hmm. then, uh, like Denise mentioned, it's my first Paper Mario mm -hmm. and yeah, love it. Love the creativity, it's very hilarious. Well, uh, yes. The, the, the dialogue is uh, really funny. It's just the only thing that Paper Mario can come up with. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Nice. Okay, we're getting, we're getting there. We're See, getting, we, it, we just started. We're going to get to the heavy hitters that you guys really, really know down the line. So right. stay tuned to the very end. But as you're watching, if you guys have questions or even um, thoughts of favorite Mario games, leave it down in the comments. I read every one of them. And if anything, I may address it in the upcoming uh, episode. Right. Mm -hmm. Sports games, Mario. Oh, yeah. So, so we have what we got Mario Golf Super Rush. Golf game. Mario huh. and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Every sports. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Aces. So and then also Mario Strikers. Yes, Mario Strikers uh, Battle League. Battle right? League. Yes. Oh man, those are uh, good ones. Um, especially, I I'm not a big fan of sports games if you don't know by now in terms of like simulators. Uh, but uh, when it comes to Mario combining with sports, I think it's always a lot of fun easy accessibility for people to get into them and it's just a uh, whack of fun you know like, seriously yeah you can't, you can't take it too seriously what i love about these uh, sports games yeah. sometimes you're doing like these fancy moves and getting to a goal or doing <laughs> an action that just overpowers your opponents it's really crazy yes uh all these games i love because uh you could actually pick easy pick up or play with friends and family mm -hmm. like they don't have to be a, a gamer mm -hmm. but at the same time you're like hey it's everybody knows the sports right so it's fun. I yeah. love it. And then family and friends can just go in. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. All now. right. Next in. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't know I if this see one. It. This one you want to say if it's like um, a family. It can friendly. be family friendly <laughs> or salty gaming fun. <laughs> GG. JJ. Uh, salty GG. Right. 
Mario Party. Right? Yeah, the Mario Party games on the Nintendo Switch Super uh, Mario Party and Mario Party Superstars are the, the ones that were released on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I definitely think that one uh, Evelyn prefers more than the other. Like uh, uh, yes. a lot of cool retro boards that I, I, start, I personally grew up playing on uh, other uh, systems like the Nintendo 64 and GameCube. They brought it back with, uh, yes. well, what is it here? The uh, Mario Party Superstars. I, I like that one a yes, lot. There's so many yeah. mini games, mm -hmm. the retro mm -hmm. one. Uh, yes, I did play both of them on stream, you guys know. Yes. Uh, some of you steal my star, but it's okay. <laughs> it's part of it's the fun. It's part of the fun. You never know. <laughs> When Mario Party games, you never know you win until the very end because it could be total reversal of fortune or something happens. They you guys steal each other's stars or whatever the case like is. Like you last time, uh, you actually. I think the last five round, you just rack up like I, three stars or something like that. You became first place. I was first place once. You gotta do what you gotta do to win, right? That's 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 the results that I'm trying to aim for. That's for everyone. Come on, you guys would do it. <laughs> Right? Do for what? To win. <laughs> uh, yeah, I noticed. I play a lot with them online, so I couldn't yeah, at all. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, this is uh, between the two, I like both, but I think I will pick this one because uh, a lot of the mini games like from the retro one, and mm -hmm. I more I boards, more boards, yeah. and I play with Danny a lot mm -hmm. from the GameCube, so this one has a lot more, and then you could play online with people. So mm -hmm. that's like really it took cool. that, they took whatever they did on this game and yes. took it to another level with this one. So I like to see yes. more of this type but of you know uh, Mario Party games. Yeah. My little niece, our little niece, she loved this one more. Is that really? Because I think a lot of the <laughs> mini games it's harder. a little harder. It's harder. <laughs> Just a little so, context, our yes. niece is like very young, is less than 10 years old. What is it like? Uh, seven. Seven years old. So she why. loved this one. So yeah. every time I'm playing with her, it has to be this one. I can't play there with her go. this one. So <laughs> there's a game for everyone, like I always say. That's right. right. All right. All right. So next um, big hitter. This one is very interesting. Oh. Yeah. So okay. some of you probably like, wait, what is this? Or probably didn't get them. But then he's a collector. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Them. I don't know because oh. Evelyn prepared this. I didn't do any okay. of this stuff. Oh yes, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. So this is not a typical Mario Kart uh, game, if you will. It is a game, but it's a uh, car. You, it's a car. Yeah, it's a, an actual like uh, RC control car, which you use your Nintendo Switch to control. And what we did was uh, to kind of use what we have. Is uh, I have a, a whole set of Nintendo Power magazines, like every issue that was released. From to the very like from the beginning to the very end, and we made a race course track with it. I thought it was kind of something different and uh, unique that I can only like not many people would do. So we it we, we made out our, our uh, other space, my big space gaming room where I usually uh, do a lot of my gaming as a race course track for it. It was crazy. It took a it took us a lot of hours because yeah. uh, then we keep them uh, sort of trying to keep them in condition. So try we like to. try not to step on it. We try not to like yeah. anything in there. But very creative. I found this. Uh, I guess uh, game. It is different, but it will. Toy. But one thing for sure, it will bring a family together if you did it. Yes. Uh, with someone and I've seen a lot of people getting this uh, doing some videos like especially with the cats and dogs and they, yeah they, like... they, they love to chase that uh, that, uh, that cart here yeah right? so we do have both uh, Mario and Luigi so very mm -hmm. fun um, yeah we had a good time yeah. um, Evelyn and I worked on it together for a good amount of hours and, and uh... oh our niece loved it too remember oh that's right put those uh like uh, it, I know you, you fold these yeah, uh, yeah. goals and stuff like that, um, yeah. these objects that was included. Oh, sure. yeah. It's a whole bunch of accessories that was in there and uh, she loved putting stuff in different orientation and so as you race through it, uh, it's customized experience. Customized. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I, I forgot about that one until Evelyn brought it out. Okay, <laughs> the next one. Ah, uh, next one. Okay. Next huh? one. Brings a lot of great memories. Oh yeah, Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, now that's a that's a big one. Um, what can I say? Every one of you guys, if you had Nintendo Switch, this is one of the essentials. You must get this. It's game. a must. It's a phenomenal experience. Uh, going through the different kingdoms. There's uh, quite a bit of them. Getting all the the uh, the moons. Uh, yes, uh, this oh, one man. everyone's so hype. Uh, everybody was sort of playing it. It's so different and Danny yeah. actually enjoyed it. It uh, brings back a little Ooh, bit. Just, of thinking, like, just think of like the bullet bill, you can control it, the Goomba. That's crazy. Uh, everything. Everything. You can, you can stack up Goombas to uh, flatter a girl. 
Yeah, that was yeah, that one was, of that the... was charming. <laughs> and Bowser and Mario fighting for the the heart for Princess Peach. See, Princess Peach is popular. I I, I like <laughs> Princess Peach. I don't blame these dudes. <laughs> I know you guys have a lot of fond memories of this game. It speaks for itself at this point, uh, but uh, it's definitely one of those games you should get if you don't have Super Mario Odyssey. I don't know why you don't have it yet, but uh, it's an essential. Yes, my uh, memory for this one is of course uh, the midnight launch of the Nintendo New Year Store. Oh, yeah. uh, they, like we mentioned in the previous uh, episode, that uh, we actually watched the performance, the dance. Mario is dancing. Yeah, Mario got some moves. Mm -hmm. uh, what else in there? And then we got to meet uh, meet Reggie. Um, mm -hmm. the, Reggie, uh, um, the one of the uh, mm -hmm. uh, main person for uh, this game, so it was a nice privilege. Again, I never will ever experience that again, but yes. uh, uh, I take what I am given, and definitely that is one experience I would uh, take forever. That's right. All right. Ooh. All right, we're gonna so move good. on. Oh my, oh my, I just literally just played this game with you guys. I see guys. it, I see it. <laughs> Evelyn was grabbing it, and uh, this one, can you can create a lot of great memories or horrible <laughs> nightmares. I was gonna say, yeah, you could say a lot of great memories. <sighs> this game has a long history. It was on the Nintendo Wii U. It started its life as Mario Kart 8, and it got to Nintendo Switch with uh, as a deluxe because they have the uh, the battle oh, mode, yes. and now we have a huge expansion with yes. the waves. Um, so quite a bit of stages to uh, to go through. Uh, they have their own charms and they're all colorful. It's Mario Kart, what do you expect? Yes. <laughs> but it's chaos at the same time. It's chaos. <laughs> I mean, you could play with your friends and family, but you know, just be aware it's chaos. Yeah. But always a fun part. Uh, one of the uh, memories that I always have for Mario Kart. I never played Mar any of the Mario Kart except when I after I met Danny, I played on the Wii U. And my and then I introduced it to my brother, my sister, and we got really hooked into it. We got game night and it was all up on Mario Kart 8. And then now that we Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it's more track and more uh, like characters. It's really, really, this game is just like you could spend mm -hmm. hours just playing with family. Now, we are we actually playing with our little niece and she yeah. loves it. I think it's a, a game that Ca uh, it caters to all groups of gamers, yes. regardless of you're really hardcore, you're casual. Uh, you can pick up and play. You can uh, you can make the game accessible by yes. uh, putting on like a high. I, I forgot the term they use in the game. Like uh, um, you can turn steer, on. I, I, I go steering, steer, steering steer system yes. or something like that. You can literally not fall off a, a course and so stuff like that. So we did that for yeah. I mean, So you know. Yeah. So you can't you can't do the cuts or anything like that. Obviously, no, yes. but it was, it makes it accessible. So I like that they made it uh, this way. It's like probably one of the ultimate yes. uh, Mario Kart games you can ever play. And as of now, we still have mm -hmm. uh, two waves to come and that will be a total of 16 more tracks and, yeah, and, and five more characters. So oh, recently I just played with you guys, so uh, this is a really Birdo. fun game. Birdo, yeah, Birdo. <laughs> Can't believe love, they have different my, colors. Birdo, yeah. uh, different colors too, I didn't know they made it. Oh, that was really, so cool. really cool. Ah, this oh, one. Yeah, this one. Super Mario Maker 2. Oh my goodness. This one has unlimited amount of course that you can play. Uh, user generated content. So you can create uh, your, you know, your desired course or ma make someone else miserable. <laughs> or those hard oh, courses. The was a Kaizo yeah, those, level. Yeah, those nuts, nutty ones. Uh, we ha I have good memories with this one playing the, the story mode that was in the game. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of unlockables, but also on the top of that, we created our own course with uh, Luigi's Mansion theme. Uh, we, we made it a while back. I, 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 there's a good reason for it. Wait, let me try to grab it. Uh, oh, I see it. I know what Evelyn's grabbing. So with that course creation, we won this uh, trophy here. This is the uh, Creator's Challenge winner in 2019. Uh, it's really beautiful. It's one of my crowning pieces in the collection. I never thought I'd be getting a, a trophy, so Nintendo uh, awarded this to us because we were competing against other creators making uh, a course and uh, we were chosen because of popularity and our design, I guess creativity as well, that's part of it. Uh, and Evelyn is, big, uh, is proud of it as well because she worked with me on this yes. uh, collaboration. I mean, you guys know Danny is not creative. I'm not very creative, but I think <laughs> I, I, I gave the input of the technical aspect of it. So 
And yeah. it was so cool that we came up with the um, Regis Mansion uh, theme. Yep. So we'll, we'll probably put the code on the description so you guys can give it a try. But uh, some of you already played it. Props to you. Thanks to you, like we got our level like more uh, popular, and then yeah. that's how we got the award, it, uh, like the trophy award. I feel like we like in the Oscar or something like that. <laughs> but it's very. Very nice. Very place. uncommon to have yeah. that, right? Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. Moving on. Ah, we only have a few more left. I so see. hang in there. I love this one. This is one of the best compilations that I have for Nintendo Switch because the reason why all three games are um, popular for the generation, like yes. uh, Super Mario 64, yep. Super Mario Sunshine, mm -hmm. Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah. So we have all three generations: N64, uh, GameCube, and then the Wii. And uh, they all have their own generations that people appreciate. For me personally, I love Super Mario 64 and Sunshine the most because those are the ones that I played heavily. Uh, did everything, get all the stars and shine, shine get. Shine get. The Japanese <laughs> way of doing it. Um, it. It's just that once that Super Mario 64 came out, my gosh, I remember back in the N64 era, you had to get Nintendo 64 for it. And I remember yeah. being online, being at Toys R Us, Looking, you know, obviously I was a kid, younger, looking up the, the screen, the, the the famous kiosk for Nintendo 64. And you would just admire it, appreciate it, because we went from 2D to 3D uh, for the first time, at least for me. Um, and then, of course, uh, the rest is history. You, you gotta you, you gotta get that game for Nintendo 64. And then when the Super Mario Sunshine, you want the sequel to it. That was highly anticipated for me. I really enjoyed the different atmosphere you had, Flood. Uh, you know, it's like Splatoon, Mario style. Very different. Before, it's the reverse though. Instead of like <laughs> squirting ink, you're cleaning the ink. That's nice. So Evelyn doesn't understand that concept because it's the reverse. <laughs> it, it's, it's so hard to understand that. I'm so used to like, we have to ink, ink, ink everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I watched them play all these games. Oh, well, actually, Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine because I did play Super Mario Galaxy. Evelyn with the Galaxy, yes. And I love it. Yeah. You did play all of them, I I did play all of them, uh, but uh, it's nice to see Evelyn playing it's Galaxy. It's so, uh, because I, uh, from, um, from Super Nintendo, I kind of skip all the system all the way into the Wii U. So the Wii, I barely play much. So I didn't even know it was Super Mario Galaxy. So it was very interesting how you are holding like the controller mm -hmm. and the nunchuck, right? Yes. Nunchuck. And then it's kind of like I was trying hard. I'm like moving like this. It, mm -hmm. It's really cool. Yeah, right? you 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 dabble a little bit on the Wii, but you mostly played it on the Switch when it, um, you know, with the. Uh, Joy Cons. I, I did, I did. Yeah. The cool thing about it, because Evelyn's not good with uh, camera <laughs> controls. <laughs> so, so, so this one kind of automated for you because of the way <laughs> the Wii was, it made it easy accessible for gamers like Evelyn. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I think, I think. I think I saw a towel that you have. Like For Sunshine, yes. Sunshine. Yeah, it, it's one of the collectible pieces I have. It's like one of my early episodes. If you guys know about that one, <laughs> props, props to, you. to you guys. But um, I, I think that um, of the three, I would say my most favorite one of all is uh, 64. So I Mark knew 64, it. Gotta be, right? <laughs> what are your favorites? Curiously, what are your favorites? If it's not even on this list, what is your favorite as well? But this is a great game because uh, you could actually have three, pretty much three in one. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So awesome. Good one. A good one. Okay. Uh, all right. Moving We're on to the next one. Moving on. So we have uh, ah. Super. No, wait, wait. New, new Super new. Mario Bros. U Deluxe. This one, I have good fond memories playing with Evelyn. When Danny was awesome at co-op, like really yeah. amazing. He was like, "Let me help you, Evelyn." I I work hard to uh, help the other person, and and co-op is definitely the thing that you gotta play with this game. It's. Um, history at this point on my channel. If you guys know by now, uh, the famous draw bridge with Bowser on the one oh. end, you gotta you know, hit that switch to draw the bridge away so that he can fall into the pit, right? Or the lava, whatever the case is. Um, Evelyn just literally just stand there and... Wait, wait, I wasn't standing. standing I was there. fighting Bal against you, you Bowser. You mean you were just dodging his fireballs? And then Daniel's and, and, like, all right, Evelyn, I got this, I got that. I'm like, oh, what are you gonna do? He's like, oh, oh. Oh. I'm still here, Daniel. <laughs> Oh, yeah. and I just went down with Bowser. That's the infamous right now. So, but it is a fun game. Classic Mario platformer, modern Mario platformer. If you haven't given this a try, definitely try it out. I, I do highly recommend it. It's one of those overlooked yes. uh, Mario games. I know there's tons of in this, this kind of series, like uh, yeah, um, you could play. I call it modern retro. Uh -huh. 
You could play with uh, all the characters. You could pick the characters. Yeah, all the characters too, yeah. as well. So it's a, it's a charming one. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome, awesome game. Yes. All right. I'm still thinking about that. Oh no, my goodness. That was during the no, during the Wii U. Danny was awesome. He's like, oh, Danny, let me help you. But during the Switch, which is that one, and then that's when he did that. My, He's my, like, my my uh, gamer uh, devil horns comes out. Seriously. Yes. All right. I guess uh, last but not least. Ah, last but not least, and it's one of my favorites as well. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. So they have this new expansion uh, with the Super Mario 3D World. But talking about Super Mario 3D World, I have good memories playing with Evelyn as well. Co-op, so another great game. And in fact, that's one of the, the first games I played co-op with Evelyn ever. On the Wii U, On yes. the Wii U. So, um, you know, you can, can imagine what we thought about that. Kind of getting Evelyn to game, because at that time, she wasn't really gaming. And then I said, like, you know what, you want to play some Mario game? I brought this uh, out, and uh, it was on the Wii U. Uh, and uh, she got to play, she had fun with it, and then that kind of sprinkled her, a new life for her and she started playing Splatoon and all the other stuff and and the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of, wow, yeah. that's crazy. Because this one, when Danny introduced me and I, when he mentioned, oh, it's a Mario game, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll play Mario game, I love Mario games. So that kind of got me back to playing games. And mm -hmm. then I can't believe now I'm like playing, I'm trying, uh, I'm playing like RPG, um, and then I got to play Metroid Dread. You expanded oh, the amount goodness. of genres yes, you play now, thanks to Mario. Is, One thing I yes. do want to mention though, it's because of Mario. I don't think we mentioned in the beginning, but because of Mario games, yes. is how we got. I got into gaming itself. So yes. thanks to Mario, the original That's Super right. Mario Bros. on the NES. That's actually one of my favorite Mario games of all time because I, I owe to that game that for me to have the appreciation I have for different games that I play now, like different genres, like Evelyn mentioned, um, different franchises. Yes. It just uh, opened that box and that box stayed open to this point and it got bigger, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree with Danny. I think uh, I'm thinking about it now. If it's not because of Mario on the NES playing the game, I don't uh -huh. think I would have uh, got into gaming at all. And I know I hear a lot of people uh, say mention about the Mario, uh, you know, a character Mario mm -hmm. when they are Nintendo New York store. They yes. always, mm -hmm. everyone will mention, hey, that's Mario, that's the game I grew up playing with you, with your uncle, with your aunt, and whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, thanks to Mario. Thank you, Mario! Everyone knows Mario. Everyone knows. Like, if you're a gamer or not, when you mention Super Mario or Super Mario Brothers, you know it's a game character. Yes. It's just that synonymous feel to it. His legacy, it's been around for a long time mm -hmm. and, and people relate to it very well. It's just a happy uh, plumber dude. Uh, uh, and uh, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't think he's a plumber anymore. He don't <laughs> do plumbing anymore, but uh, that's the old days. I'm OG, so <laughs> excuse my thing. Cause I know people say, he's not a plumber anymore. Well, I'm old, okay? <laughs> but uh, just want to finish off with uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. I love the fact that um, I have, his, I have history and memories of playing with Reggie fils the former oh, yes. Nintendo president, right? CEO. Yes. Uh, at then... Nintendo uh, World Store at the time, it's, you know, it used to be called Nintendo World Store from Nintendo New York. I got to play with them. Oh, uh, it was a four player co-op. Uh, co and that's a memory that I'll take forever. You'll never get to play with an executive at a Nintendo, and especially it's Reggie. Yes, so. I remember that that you actually were chosen to be in mm -hmm. uh, to be part of it, and it was very helpful. People got in there. Yeah. And you actually, that was the first time you meet, meeting him. Yeah, first, first time. First time meeting mm -hmm. him, uh, playing game with uh, Reggie, and also you actually got uh, a lot of pictures with him. Yeah. You got, uh, you got your first autograph with him too, right? I want to tell you a little side story. I don't think I ever told anyone about it. When I was meeting with him, Obviously, I don't, I don't talk about games with him because he's not going to tell me anything. You know the deal, right? Of course, it's right? Nintendo. <laughs> so I, since he's, uh, I, I talked to him and I found out he was uh, from New York. So we were kind of, because since I'm from New York, it, the city to be more specifically, we kind of have that New York City vibe and, and talking and chilling. He don't live in New York anymore, but he knows the feeling. And, and we were talking uh, various topics about the city and uh, what he likes to do, or what he uh, used to do. And it was very insightful at the time because it wasn't released to the public because this is very early days. This is the Wii U era. You didn't even tell me that either. Oh, I don't think so. Wow, oh, yeah, he kept right. that for so many yeah, years. Yeah, I never, wow. I never. 
it was a nice conversation I had uh, with him. So I think that from that point on, he recognized me from every event that we met. Like Super Mario Odyssey, I met him back then again. Um, so yeah, it's just... It uh, spiky hair, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, My trademark in hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you see? Yeah. It's all thanks to Mario. Mm -hmm. Just the first game and then got us where we are today. Yeah, so tons of Mario games. Um, I know I, I left out Bowser's Fury. That's a great uh, expansion, by the way. I love the, uh, the openness of the oh, area. Oh yeah, that is such a great creativity in there. Like yeah. the way they make it. I enjoyed it. I played it on stream. Um, awesome. Oh man, maybe I should revisit it one day, one of these days. It's always fun to revisit the games like that, like retro. Like, give it a try. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure it will bring back memories. Sometimes yeah. that's why we do some some of the games like uh, live stream, or maybe we'll, we'll make a video talk about retro games. Mm -hmm. Or not even retro, these are not really retro, but it just brings back memory. Oh. And then it makes you feel like appreciate uh, with, oh, I remember first time playing and you know, all that. Mm -hmm. I think the key takeaway is the nostalgia. It's mm -hmm. very powerful, and people think back and as I was going through many of these games a lot of memories flood back into me um, thinking about the first Mario game that I mentioned and even to the last game that we we're talking about Super, uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury uh, mm -hmm. we have something to take away from it like I used to remember playing Super Mario Bros, uh, Super, Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros 2 and 3 on the NES and my parents would just uh, watch me play it especially my dad who would be uh, playing with me he can't do that anymore, he's a little bit uh, up in the age, but uh, I will always take that as a good memory of right. these games. And for uh, even how old I am, I will still always remember that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure you guys have those fond memories as well. Um, and I think that Amara is a very universal character that everyone can just jo enjoy. Yeah, so be sure to share with them, uh, mm -hmm. share them with us, and then we will actually re uh, read the other comments in your memories. We would mm -hmm. like to hear them. Yeah, put it down. Leave me your thoughts, leave me your, your memories and nostalgia. I know it's very strong. And if I, Evan and I were able to rekindle some of them with this Nintendo Switch, I know it's like modern, but there are retro games sprinkled mm -hmm. in there because of some of the re-releases. And again, we did mention uh, pretty much uh, the physical ones. There's also the ones on Nintendo Switch Online that yes. you can just accessible and play uh, from various platforms that's there now. So it, it, this is a system, Nintendo Switch is a system that you can literally have a whole entire Mario collection without even thinking about it and it's accessible to you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, second episode of Nintendo K Direct Talk. Um, you know, I know this is a long form format. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. It looks like a good feedback on the last episode and we'll continue doing so as you do enjoy. We do appreciate a thumbs up. It lets me know, let Evelyn know if you want to continue this series. Um, and it's a way for us to have a direct, direct talk with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Again, if you guys enjoy, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so. I am Evelyn. Evelyn. I'm Danny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Evelyn, I'm like, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Danny. I look at Evelyn and I'm talking about, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm Danny. It's okay. Evelyn. Evelyn. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> I screwed up. Yeah, you okay. shouldn't. It's That's fun. okay. That's part of the right talk. It's uncut. <laughs> We'll catch you again next time. Bye, Bye guys.